Hi, my name is Ryan. I'm going to show you how to set up Tortoise SVN. This is specifically in the context of Jamie King's game engine development playlist on YouTube. If you've stumbled across this video from another corner of YouTube, uh, please check out Jamie's channel. It is an amazing resource for anything computer science related. Uh, so this is the website for Tortoise SVN as of February 25th, 2016. The URL is up here. Um, it, I'm not going to walk you through the entire installation process because it's very easy and self-explanatory. You just choose the appropriate executable either for either a 32 or 64-bit operating system. Once you've gone through that, uh, you won't have any you know, program or any sort of fancy UI, but you will have a context menu uh, in your file explorer, and I'm going to show you that right now. Uh, this is the file folder that I have set up. I've told Visual Studio to drop all of my project files into this folder. Um, and I, I found it very easy to set Tortoise SVN up with a completely blank slate. If you're following Jamie's video, you're going to be exactly where I'm at right now as far as <laughs> having a blank slate as well. So this is the perfect time to do this. Uh, I'm going to right click here and you'll see that there's an SVN checkout option as well as a Tortoise SVN submenu. I'm going to actually make a folder first and call it My Repository. And once I have that set up, uh, I'm going to right click on that and go to uh, Tortoise SVN. And I'm going to create repository here. Uh, this will pop up with a, dial a box here. And I'm actually, I actually recommend control, hitting Control C to copy this. So we're going to need the file path in just a moment. And you also have the option of going through the creating a folder structure, which will kind of make an arbitrary uh, organization for your repository, but it's, it's not necessary. So I'm just going to hit OK. And once we have the repository set up, we're going to right click on project files and we're going to go to SVN checkout. Um, so when we, when we do this, uh, we're going to need the URL of the repository, which is uh, what I just had you uh, control C. Uh, you can just control V, just paste it in there. Uh, if you're going to type this in manually, uh, please note that there are three forward slashes, not two, uh, after the file and the colon here. Um, but other than that, the checkout directory right here is presumably the, the folder that you just right clicked. Uh, this is where you want Tortoise SVN to check if there are any changes to your project that you've made. And once you have those two fields filled out, hit OK. Uh, it's going to show you that uh, we are at revision zero, which is perfect. Uh, that's going to increment in just a moment, and I'll, I'll tell you when that happens. So now that we have this folder checked out, you'll see that there's a green check mark, and that tells us that there have been no changes since we checked this out and or uh, since our last update to this folder. What I'm going to do now is uh, is make a project and we'll see how that changes. Uh, my experience with this recording software, by the way, is that when I load up Visual Studio, uh, there's some flickering and I am very, very sorry. Apologies in advance if that happens. Uh, I'm going to do this really quickly. I'm just making an empty project and uh, I'm going to add a CPP file to it that's just going to be a void main function and just to get some files uh, kind of going. We're going to build this and we've got a build succeeded. Uh, once we have that, I'm going to go back into my project files and you'll see that the, there's a new uh, project one folder here, which is the one that I just uh, built. And there's a question mark in the, in the blue circle because Tortoise SVN isn't sure yet if this is something that we want to add to our repository. Uh, and in this case, we do. So I'm going to right click on this file, go to Tortoise SVN, and we're going to add this. This is going to have you select whatever files and folders you want to add to the repository. Jamie goes into a bit more detail, again, if you're following his video on what you should keep and what you shouldn't keep. But just to keep things succinct, I'm going to just select all of them and hit OK once that finishes. Now that we have added it to the repository, we also need to commit it. So we're going to right click and go to SVN commit. And this is where you would type in any messages. If you, you would want to communicate any changes that you're making to your engine, you may need to go back later to a previous uh, version and, and kind of fix things if you messed anything up. So I'm just going to say, hey, we uh, set up the initial file hierarchy here. 
and again, it should have gives you check uh, you know options for choosing files and folders. You can, and it's showing you that it's going to add all of these. If you have deleted or modified any folders, this status will reflect that. But in this case, these are all new files and folders, so it's just telling us that they're added. Uh, hit OK, and you have your revision one. Um, and any time that you commit this in the future, the revision counter will continue incrementing when you make more changes to your CPP files, if you add more files and OBJ files. So um, that is uh, Tortoise SVN in, in a nutshell. Uh, if you have any questions or concerns, uh, please let me know. Uh, drop a comment on the video. Um, but yeah, any changes that you make to your game engine, you're just going to go back to that through the same process. You're going to, you know, go to the files that you changed, right click, commit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty simple. Just let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thanks.